Hot Rob here, response review on an extremely somber, tragic note. A dozen perished, maybe over a dozen, they're saying 13, at this naval shipyard in Washington, D.C. And my God, first of all, my condolences as a minister of the gospel to those family members uh, that the grieving and mourning, just the senseless tragedy of the death of people that really, for the most part, whether they were working that day, whatever, Never thought that would be their last day on this earth. And I came on here as a minister to talk about the topic of eternity. Now, how long is eternity? Is eternity a million years, a billion years, a billion times a billion years? Friends, eternity is without measure. It's without end. The reality is, is when we all take our last breath on this earth, either you go to heaven with Christ in heaven for eternity, or you, you're separated from God for eternity in a place that Jesus taught about called hell and you know, just a senseless tragedy. Those people never dreamed or thought that they would get ready for work that day or whatever they were doing uh, in that shipyard, that that would be their last day on this earth. They're still searching for the suspect at this point. They know who he is. But, friends, God loves you. He's got a plan for your life. And, you know, really the plan God has for you is he desires to be in the center of your heart, the center of your life. And the only way God can have that plan fulfilled is he has to have an invitation simply because God will never not crash or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God gave us a free will. God didn't create robots. God has to respect your decision. You can accept him out of obedience. You can reject him out of disobedience. In other words, we all control the we control the doorknob to our heart. And one thing I promise you is this, once you open the door of your heart just to crack, the Lord will come in with his great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all, his irrevocable, unconditional love. And the Bible is very clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only gift, that if you would believe and receive Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have eternal life. And you know, God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice. He wants us all to have that insurance that when we take our last breath, we're going to make heaven a home. And if you want to recite a simple prayer after me and by Christ into your heart, say, Jesus, Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Also under the search Robwood1. I have many other ministry videos where I do expound. I talk about the Bible and Christianity. Again, my condolences to the family and people in that region that are grieving and mourning. Just a senseless, senseless tragedy. And what an hour we live in, friends. It's the best of times, the worst of times. You never know when something great's going to happen. And you certainly never know when something evil and demonic and hideous is going to happen. Be blessed. God loves you.